Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space, also known as Sam and Max Season 2. I had such fun with Season 1 that I decided I was going to jump straight into this and play it. I've never played this before, it's a completely blind playthrough, so I have no idea what to expect, but I'm really, really excited. So let's go. Here we go, new game. Um, do you want to start a new game? Yes, we don't want to do the tutorial. Let's see what we've got in store this time. Season 1 was brilliant. We are playing the original, by the way, not the remastered version. We'll get to remasters somewhere down the line. Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me. Congratulate the peacemaker. <laughs> you crack me up a little. Brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, <laughs> like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil. Really? Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch. Eliminate him. You are my idol. I didn't. Wow. Hey, you fellas. Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? Secret side burns of Isaac Asimov. My name's Tron 9000. That's who named Tron. That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass. It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president. <laughs> well, he's still the president. Um, I tell you what, let's have a look around here first, because there's some pretty cool references from the first game, I think. Max's entire costume for <coughs> nationally televised Salute to America pageant. <laughs> Highest ratings ever for both the TV networks and the American Psychiatric Association's emergency helpline. Yeah, I was wondering if he was still going to be president or if that was going to be done, but no, he is. We didn't see you at all last year, Flint. Yes. I had one hell of a crazy case, fellas. Boiling a conspiracy in the movie biz, matching wits with a reanimated Grover Cleveland, breaking up Ascension cell phone network, and a showdown with a cult leader on Saturn's largest moon! I mean... Wow! How come we never get to do cool stuff like that? We did, Max. Very similar to that, in fact. Uh, right, so the, the fish tank's gone. Uh, I don't know if he's dead. It looked like he was dead. Let's see what's over here. We've got the filing cabinet. We keep everything. For stuff. That robot's very loud. What's in the closet? Oh, the stuff is still here. Nice. Leonard's still here. Keep up the good work, Leonard. <laughs> Jar of Bliss. A souvenir from when Max eliminated you, Bliss. Well, that's the one from the last episode. Uh, yeah. Jar of Bliss. Lovely. Uh, this is obviously references from the office. Pardon? Well, the you White House office. Oval office. Powers again, Max? That depends on what your definition of abuse is. This was from the Toy Mafia. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. <laughs> oh, we can play it! Oh god, my aim's not very good. I wasn't prepared for this. I, d I don't think the, the counter's working. <laughs> Yeah, well, it wasn't counting, so... Frog Mariachi frogs, posed just as they appear in nature. <laughs> There's Hugh Bliss's thing there. Desk lamp. We'll leave... for interrogating perps and telling spooky ghost stories. <laughs> we'll leave the main Tron 9000 to whatever it's doing for the time being. The Prismatology Blistacular Shade of Month. <laughs> this month is fabulous! <laughs> oh, Hugh Bliss. I didn't see him being the bad guy. Too bad it doesn't sing a little tune and tell you to do things anymore. It, it, it doesn't? <laughs> it does for Max, clearly. I see that America's next white man is still on the air. I voted for Bendy Images and the sounds of gravel being poured down the toilet. <laughs> Alright. What is this? 
It's our Salvia Hispanica Brady culture head. Oh. Safe and fun gardening at home with no threat of legal action due to trademark. I forgot about Brady culture. That was so long ago. A couple of photos here. Max chatting with the former president before violently decapitating it. Yeah, but he was a robot, so it was sort of okay. All right, photo from Hugh Bliss's roller coaster. Max just couldn't resist flashing the camera. <laughs> Anything it's in a bin? Max's receipts from the tanning parlor. No. Why is there bananas? We suggest except we'll never teach that chimp to be a darts grandmaster. Huh. At least he's improving. Banana peels are a lot better than what he used to fling at it. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Anything on the answer machine? Yeah, this is President Ma I mean, this is IP3. <laughs> Crank calls only work when you call someone besides us. Yeah. This is the only phone number I can remember, Sam. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it's doing a lot of destruction out there, He's so maybe we should. The entire building. Yeah. Maybe we should go out there and do something about that. Oh, the light switch still works. <clears throat> or it's still a thing we can interact with anyway. All right. Let's see what this robot's doing. What goes up must come down. Why you fools making all that damn racket? It's not us. Just to tell you once again, who's He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction. His taste in hideous middle of the road pop music is impeccable. <laughs> well, um, that's a thing. Do we have anything in our inventory? A, a gun. That's it. Sybil's place is gone. I've lost that loving feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous Wind Up Toy Destruction Sir. Yes. I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Mm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college! <laughs> it's trouble, all right. <laughs> All right, uh, stop it, bad giant robot. Would you stop doing this, please? If you start me up, if you start me up, <laughs> I'll never stop. Uh -huh. I exist to destroy. I am carrying out my sole purpose of existence. So philosophically, the question is not would I stop, but can I stop? And the answer? No. <laughs> Which raises the question? Would I stop beating his rusty metal ass, or could I stop? Good one, Max. Um, okay, well, I have a question. You seem like a smart guy. For a robot. <laughs> Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I have no choice. The dictates of existential philosophy are clear. When a problem comes along, you must whip it, whip it good. Kierkegaard? Close. Devo. <laughs> Do you have free will? Do you have free will? There is no such thing as free will. We do only what we are predetermined to do. Hey, robot, would you be available as a witness for my next war crimes <laughs> trial? I should have free time after I destroy you both. Great! Don't do that. Uh, okay, does might make right? Does might make right? It might. He's right. <laughs> what if all this is an illusion? What if everything is an illusion and nothing exists? That theory was refuted by the ancient Australian philosopher Newton John, who said, let's get physical, physical, <laughs> I want to get physical. It's all so complicated. Uh, it's God all powerful. Could God create a kidney stone so large that even he couldn't pass it? Of course, an omnipotent God can, by definition, create anything he can conceive of. My question, can anyone set up a joke so obvious that even you would not take it? <laughs> Does. Not. Compute. Why do fools fall in love? Why do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay, and lovers await the break of day? <laughs> oh, he's distracted. Can we... can we do anything to the key? I get the feeling bullets won't hurt him. Okay. It's more than a feeling. More than a feeling. <laughs> We need to do something to that key, right? Can Excuse we... Excuse me, Mr. Mametron. <laughs> okay, it looked like... I want to ask you something. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? <laughs> do they? 
fascinating. The creature whose existence depends solely on its proximity to an observer. <laughs> It looks like he's by the window, so I wonder if we can, like, do something to the key while he's got his back turned. Yeah, looks like it. Maybe we can take the key out of his back. What was that? Oh, that's the guy in the other room, right? Yeah, that'll do it. What? You were trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forget. <laughs> and another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites. I hope you didn't fall on anybody important. We'd better hurry down if we want to loot the body for spare parts. <laughs> I call dibs on any delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards. Lovely. Well, I guess we're going down. Pretty cool opening, I've got to say. Spatula. I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup covered cheese logs. It does not say that. <laughs> was wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced a hairy, bloated, pagan god. Santa Claus. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god, Santa's gonna be the villain, is he? <sighs> ah, just when you thought you'd seen it all in the first game, now we're gonna be apparently fighting Santa. Oh, you can shoot. Nice. Let's shoot everything. They're all references from the first game. Pretty cool so far, I'm really liking it. Oh! <laughs> We're just... Well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold on. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? Oh, look who it is. What the hell are they doing here? <sighs> I don't know. Well, the soda poppers are here, and we're at the North Pole. Um, we Yeah, we're just here. I wondered if we were going to do something in town. We're not. We're just at the North Pole. Max looks a bit different in this one to me. That searchlight makes Santa's workshop feel like a prison. Funny. I was thinking the same thing. So we're agreed. We're getting one for our office, right? <laughs> you bet. Yellow snow reclamation. This thing takes yellow snow bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Hey! Wanna have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. <laughs> can, can we... Did we get any of that? Oh yeah, we got a reclaimed snowball, nice. Alright, well the soda poppers are here. What else is here? Santa's workshop, there's barbed wire everywhere. Whee! Chocolate covered barbed wire. Wow, chocolate really does go well with everything. <laughs> chocolate covered barbed wire. It's a evil looking snowman he's really let himself go <laughs> can we no we can't take the pitchfork there's a tiny topiary here though maybe we it's can a take topiary that. planted in a tiny clay pot what's a topiary that <laughs> doesn't look like we can take it no uh oh hang on what's all this santa's sleigh with a boiler this on it must be santa's sleigh where does he attach the flying reindeer there's a boiler on the back Whoa, tough rig for the reindeer. <laughs> the boiler runs on coal, I think. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't run on reindeer. Hey, my snowball melted. Ah. All right, well, we better not go near that then. Snow oh, devil. It's adorable. I think it might be a warning, Sam. Still adorable. <laughs> the area feels pretty big, actually. <laughs> Listen to the music. Right, I want to get some more of this snow. I get the feeling it might be important. Love the smell of snowballs in the morning. Yeah, yellow snowballs turned back into white snowballs. Not sure how that works, but um, yeah, we got the soda poppers here. We got the car. 
Does that mean we can go back to town? Where to, Sam? On second thought, let's just stay here. Oh, we can't. Okay, so we're stuck here. All right, I'll tell you what then. We'll talk to the soda poppers in the next one because we are out of time. But I'm really enjoying this so far. Can't wait to play more. Um, yeah, really good. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>